First of all, this is an amazing film. Just blew my mind. Um, and I feel like this is a really good character study on Hustlers. And uh, it, it, what the lengths people will go to once something is taken from them and they kind of have to just struggle. So Viola, I've seen you play badass women before like Amanda Waller, but this is a whole new level. So what is it about Veronica that really stands out to you? That she is a different sort of badass. I think um, the women in this film in general redefine strength. Their strength is that is their rawness, is their vulnerability, is um, the fact that they the fact that they they allowed to be women, they allowed to grieve. Um, that's what stands out, you know. And yes, they do perform the heist. Yes, they do have guns. Yes, they do have some badass quote unquote scenes, but the badass part of it is them gaining ownership and autonomy Absolutely. and getting their worth back. Now you two are, some, are two of the greatest actors of the modern era, um, and it's super refreshing to me as a child of, of biracial uh, parents mm -hmm. uh, to see that on screen. It's super refreshing. Um, so Liam, can you talk to me about the relationship between Harry and Veronica and how that was fostered? Um, I'll be honest with you, it was in the script yeah. when I first met Steve, he said, this is who your wife is. I didn't really bat an eyelid and think, why, why would these two be together? It's just, I just thought, okay, they met somewhere, they fell in love, got very passionate with each other and they had a child together. Um, it, uh, I mean, maybe for a few nanoseconds, I thought this is quite rare on screen, sure. yeah. but it didn't last longer than that. I'll be honest with you, you know. But certainly, it was very refreshing. Absolutely, you know? it wasn't a role specifically written for an African American woman. That's oh, really? the way Steve saw her. Awesome. So it, it, the film is an extension of his vision. Speaking of Steve, he's such a masterful director. Um, what is it about his directing that kind of uh, that he that was more than just being on the page? Um, just talk to me about Steve a little bit. He's amazing. Well, he is. He's a very special man. Um, I met him in London about a year and a half ago, um, up, up, way before we started shooting. And um, it was, uh, I knew some of his work as a visual artist. Um, and a couple of his films I had seen. Strangely enough, I hadn't seen Hunger because I grew up in the north of Ireland and it was always a very delicate and tender part of my upbringing and sure. I, I, I still haven't seen it by the way but anyway um, but I find myself just opening up to this yeah. complete stranger Dude. telling him intimacies and and I just loved his openness and his honesty and his integrity and his dynamism he, he just had a vision for this story and I went with it and believed it and felt very honored that he wanted to sit down with me and mm -hmm. talk to me about it. It's amazing. And last question, uh, Viola. Um, this was an amazing role and also I love you as Amanda Waller and there's rumors that James Gunn might be taking over Suicide yeah. Squad. Have you spoken to him at all? I haven't spoken to him and I just found out about it just like everyone else found out. I think it's fantastic. <laughs>